Hey, it's Melissa and Brielle here. Do you want to say hi? Hi. And welcome back to my channel. So um, I'm doing my July killer kit and layout share. And I'm a bit late, I know that, but I worked a lot last month. That's the biggest month I've ever had in my business, which is good considering um, how much everything has changed since our lockdown for COVID. Um now, I've had a bit of trouble with my light, which is why I've got a different setup here. The lighting's not great, um, but I just wanted to do this anyway because I am so late. And um, before I get into this, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched my recent videos, that has commented, liked, etc. Um, I will get to them and, and reply to you. And um, also, if, um, if you've been in any hops with me, I'm sorry I haven't hopped along because I've literally... I think I worked 19 days and nights straight, including weekends around the kids. So that's the reason why, but I will definitely get on to watching your videos as well. But yeah, Brielle, be careful of this table. So on to um, my kit. So this was my scrappy Christmas in July kit, and it was made up of a lot of pretty little studio glitter and ice collection and I had a kit from Redefine Creative and so she included some other products as well but I'll just quickly show you. Um, I didn't kill the kit, I just, I didn't have time and I've let myself go over as well. I've let myself into August for a couple of days just because I wanted to get a couple more layouts done but there's still quite a lot here as you can see. Um, this will go into my Christmas stash. Um, and it will definitely get used up. So I'm happy with what I made though. But yeah, it just wasn't possible to work and scrap as much as I wanted. Um, got a full sheet of that one. I did bring other things into the kit, like this is from um, Pink Fresh Fairy Merry Collection, I think it was. Or no, Holiday Wish. I bought it in because I thought I'd use it. I think I used one of them. Um, yeah, so also another piece I didn't use. I think I struggled with incorporating this collection from Pink Paisley in with the glitter and ice, but that's okay. I like to keep Christmas product, and this will go into that box of supplies. So when it comes to the layouts, I made five, which I think, um, considering how busy I was with work. Um, it's not too bad. This one I shared yesterday and um, I don't 100% love it. I do, I just really wanted to use that as a title so I used a cut file from Paper Issues and then while it was on the cutting mat I used a stencil with some silver Heidi Swap texture paste over the top and when that dried I realized the mistake I'd made because then I had to cut wherever the texture paste went over the edge I had to cut with my little um, exacto knife cut through the texture paste so it looked like a bit of a hot mess um, I also got texture paste sort of smeared on one of these so the way to remedy it was to paint all of the letters gray and um, they're not perfect like you can see this one is darker a few of the other letters are darker and then with the word Christmas I didn't put texture paste on I colored it pink I did 100% how that look, like how that looked, so I outlined it in silver. And then I had this photo of Brielle from our lockdown in March, and um, she had both teeth missing. And you know that's something you're not going to get in December that often. If you do, that's amazing. But I decided to make this layout anyway because when else could I scrap a photo of her with this song title? So cut apart some of those advent pieces from Pretty Little Studio. Did my mixed media on the background, used a tag. My favourite paper in the whole kit was this one. Put my journaling here. So that is that one. This one um, I shared today. I had some of these or lots of these left over. This I used the reverse packaging technique, which is where you put the colour down and instead of putting the plastic onto your paper, you turn your paper upside down and put the, put the colour on. And it kind of ran and looked really cool. So I used that to build my... Can you move back a bit, please, and don't move the table? This is a trestle table, and it's not loving any pressure on it. So that's how I built this layout. I had a couple of these um, Instagram filters, tiny little photos I printed, and um, they just went perfectly 
to balance out the size of these little cutter parts um, just embellished with things from the kit and I forgot to say I didn't even show you the embellishments did I I'll show you the embellishments once I've shared these but I did have to bring in some letter stickers so I've used um, all of these are exclusive to the hip kit and they're quite old so it was good to use up them well not use up but to use a lot of them so that one this one I think was the, one of the first layouts I made this, um, it's a photo of my kids from last year's Christmas with Santa um, I used a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict didn't love the texture paste I put in the back here so covered most of that up used some tissue paper that I folded like a ruffle and just built with the, the trees and then this beautiful paper as well so that's that one this is actually I think this might be the first one I made um, I had all these photos of Ava with the filters, so I cut them. I printed them all similar size. I think I've got two, four, six, ten photos on a layout, which is massive for me. So I printed them all similar size or same size, and then just built around this piece of paper, my other favourite piece of paper, and then built a monochromatic layout around that. And then my other layout was this one of Brielle with a present. I love the look on her face and I thought the moments of wonder went so well with that look on her face. So I used this piece of Pretty Little Studio. I've used the full sheet before and I think I got it in a hip kit so I didn't want to use it again. Um, so I put a tag, some tissue paper and just built around. This was the wreath paper and I've had that paper before as well so you can actually fussy cut out the flowers and use them as embellishments. And then it was, um, wasn't looking too warped and then Ava decided to tip some water on it. So it got quite warped. So that is that one. And then just on to what I used. Didn't use any of these um, snow globes, but I'll definitely use them. I used some of the bits and pieces inside them. I've still got some enamel dots, uh, lots of these Spiegel Mom's Grab sequins. I brought on another, I don't even know if I use them. They've just been sitting with this anyway. I've got a few more of these advent colour parts. I've got lots of trees left. A couple of tags from the kit. There's one of those um, I was shaking it but there's nothing shaking in it. And then I used a lot of the um, die cuts. So yeah, um, I loved playing with this kit. Um, I did struggle a bit I think mostly because I was working so much. Um, I had also intended to finish last year's December daily. I didn't even open it, didn't even get to it but that's okay. Um, sometimes life gets in the way but that's that's just how it is so yeah so i hope you enjoyed that and i'll be back with another layout share really soon